So if you're shopping for a new tennis racket, there's one thing that you need to understand before you pull the trigger, and that's swing weight. So put it one way, swing weight is how heavy the racket feels when you swing it. But there's so much more to swing weight than just that. So the first interesting thing about swing weight is it's actually a dynamic measurement. So pretty much all the racket specs that the manufacturers actually share with the consumer are static measurements, they're fixed. This would be weight, the string pattern, the beam thickness, and the racket stiffness. Swing weight, on the other hand, is a dynamic measurement. That means it requires movement to actually measure it. So a Bablet RDC machine will swing the racket back and forth to generate a number. This number usually lies between 300 and 330. What's often glazed over are the units. So we know like rackets are measured in grams or sometimes ounces. So you might have a 300 gram racket. Um, we know beam width is measured often in millimeters, like a 24 millimeter beam width. Swing weight, we just say, oh, it's got a swing weight of 330. We are not saying the units, but there are units attached. Now those units are kilogram centimeter squared. So notice that the centimeter is squared. This is interesting because it describes the weight distribution of the actual racket. Now this is a lot more than just the balance point. Sure, balance point is an indicator of where some of the mass is located, but it just doesn't tell the whole story. Remember, swing weight has an exponential factor in it, being the distance. Essentially, the further you place weight up from the butt cap, so towards the tip, the greater an impact that weight is gonna have on swing weight. So here's an example. Let's say you've got an even balanced racket and you want to add 10 grams of weight to it, but you want to make sure you're not changing the balance point of the racket. We've got a couple options. So we could put all the weight right in the middle at the balance point. We'd be adding 10 grams and we'd be keeping the balance point the same. A second option is we could put half of the weight in the tip, so five grams, and then the remaining half, another five grams in the handle. This again, wouldn't change the balance point. We'd still have an even balance racket, but we'd be increasing the weight like 10 grams, just like we did in the previous one. However, the impact on swing weight is not gonna be the same. The racket where you added five grams at the tip and five grams in the handle is gonna have a higher swing weight. And this is because of that CM squared again. So the weight up in the tip is gonna have an exponential impact on that swing weight number. So what does swing weight actually mean for you? Well, swing weight is a great indicator of three things. The first is stability, the second is power, and the last is spin. So let's hold on a minute and simplify what it means to hit a tennis ball. It's basically a collision between the racket and the ball. If you wanna increase the force that you impart on that ball, AKA hitting it harder, getting more ball speed, or imparting more spin, there's two ways you can accomplish that. The first is to swing faster, and the second is to hit that ball with a heavier object. So by increasing swing weight, we can apply more force from the racket to the ball, effectively winning that collision. So the higher the swing weight, the more power, but also the more spin you can import on that ball. And it should also feel a lot more stable because the racket has no problem just pushing through that ball. So how can you actually use swing weight to inform your buying decision? Well, the first thing is figure out how much the swing weight on your racket is. If you think you want something a little bit heavier to give you a little bit more power and spin, maybe shop for something that's about five points higher. If you feel like your racket's a bit too heavy, maybe shop for something with swing weight maybe five points lower. Now, if you think, I wanna take swing weight into my own hands and you don't wanna buy a new racket, but you wanna know how to get the most out of the racket you have, well, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Have you ever been in this place where it just feels like your tennis racket is letting you down on every other shot? 